What's the crack lads? Welcome to my double touch tutorial. It's very, very easy. I've seen a lot of people overcomplicate this. And for me, you're only ever going to be using this double touch, which I think is a super, super overpowered trick move to have in your arsenal. If you are going to be taking on an opponent out wide, or if you have a really good player like Messi or somebody like that, like Neymar, in the middle of the pitch to kind of, you know, trick your opponent, confuse your opponent, and link double touch moves to dribble past players with speed and effectiveness. You're not going to be doing it with the likes of Luke Shaw there. This is the main area that you're going to be using. So these are where the instructions are going to come in handy, right? So when we actually look here on screen, it's very, very easy. If you just remember it as this, right? You hold down or up depending on which side of the player you want to go. So if you want to go on the byline, you're going to hold up as we do here. And then you're going to flick the left stick left or right depending on your position. You're more than likely going to be always going towards the goals doing this. You're not really going to be double touching unless you're showing off when you're running towards your own goals, right? So there is a couple of variations to this that link in with animations. So the best thing I would do if I were you and you're not used to doing double touches is go into training mode and just practice with different players. You'll see that there's three variations. There's the normal double touch, there's the speed Neymar double touch and Sancho can do it as well. And then there's the messy type double touch as well, which is kind of uh, another unique one. So there is multiple variations. There isn't that many, but I think that they will kind of upgrade these a little bit as well. But let's genuinely go in to the training mode and just practice, practice, practice. Once you get used to this, you will be able to use it very effectively. And I've seen, as I said, a lot of people complicate it. But what you need to know is if a player does have double touch, in their player skills, which you can check here. You can just go on and check if they do have double touch or whatever. You're gonna be able to see it um, from there and you'll be able to see that he has double touch and then, you know, dribbling stats and come into it. But you will know from playing with your players if you wanna test out a new player of the week or whatever, you will know that your player will have it. Now, another thing is that if you wanna go into the actual command list itself and the settings itself, you can go in and check to make sure that it's on easy. Basically what this means, and again, without overcomplicating it and for newcomers, basically what easy means when you leave it on that is that no matter what you press, it's going to assist you in doing the tricks once you press the correct input. That's basically the best way of doing it. So nine times out of 10, you're going to be using the double touch when you're, you know, going towards the opponent's goal, like with the, with the opponent is defending you. So nine times out of 10, you're going to be able to follow this video, but you can also do it sideways and the rolls just reverse. So instead of pressing left or right, um, you're pressing up or down, depending on your body position, if you have it on easy. So just check out a couple of more clips there from training mode. And lads, that is it for me. I'll be back quite soon. Hope this video checked, uh, helped you out. And let me know if it did. If you want me to do a more in-depth one, I'm trying to keep it as simple and as uncomplicated as possible. And a very short video as well. Because